going on, guys? This is your boy, Justin. We have Mr. 302, Delaware Mike. And joining us today, straight from Russia, is Mr. Alex Nabiv. Mr. Alex, thank you for joining us today. How are you doing? Thank you, guys. This is my, this is my pleasure, you know? Oh, no, we're excited. But but hold on. One thing before we start. This guy, the, uh, the money. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, oh. You, you're offering me money. I'm doing a service. The Drake interview got lots of hits. You're making hit. Come on. All right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'll make a deal. I got your pay. Yeah, but, right. but let's not no, open no, it. No, I want it now. Yeah, yeah, but we'll open it after the interview. No, 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 right. no, no. His envelopes are always light. Yeah, we'll open it after the interview. No, I'm going to open it now. Because last know. time, I, I want I want back. Look at this. Coupons. It's a big coupon. Hamburger coupons. This guy. Alex, you like hamburgers, right? What is Wendy's coupons. You know Wendy's? <laughs> Whoa. I heard about Wendy's, but we don't have it in Russia, you know? Well, these uh, coupons, uh, I, we got them all over. I don't I want to be very we're gonna talk. I'm going to do this one this time, but you better. I got you next time. I, I, got, you, I got you next time. Can you imagine? I heard you Wendy's is a good food. Wendy's, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to take mm. you to Wawa when you come over here. Wawa, the best. So I heard about that too. Mm. Yes, yes. Um, you want to start off? Yeah, well, okay. So we're just going to jump around. And, uh, uh, you know, I want to welcome you. And a lot of people are excited. I told people that we're going to interview you. They're like, no. My friend be didn't believe me. He says, he thought I was joking. He kept talking. I'm like, no, I'm serious. He goes, really? I said, Justin pulled it off. But, you know, it's good. It's good. So people know you here. Absolutely. But very popular in the deathmatch scene. Yeah, very, so thank very, you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us. I, I can't believe it. You know, it's it's like some kind of a dream for me. And actually, that clip of Nizhnogorod and like highlights of my career, really like it. You know, oh, like, I, like, I, like Yellow Church. You know, my hometown. Good memories. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just gonna jump around. I got a lot of questions. We'll did talk about wrestling and other things. No, nothing controversial. We don't call people out or anything like that. We're just like, no, this you asked about the belt. This is the CZW belt. Yeah, that's what I see. You see it? Yeah. Copy of it. They they yeah, here in America, everybody has they can you can get copies of belts made. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know a guy here who like ordered a WWE belt. Oh, okay. she tells of money. It, in America, if you go to a WWE, all the fans are wearing the belt. Not all. They buy the belts and they wear two, three, four belts at a time. At a time, yeah. <laughs> but not, not the indie fans, the hardcore people. We don't do that. In America, the hardcore fans and the indie fans are completely different from the WWE fans. Yeah, I got you. I got you. A lot of people uh, who likes WWE hate death matches. Oh yeah, they don't. They don't. Oh, yeah. They don't no, like that. Absolutely. Matches. But um, <clears throat> actually, it's kind of crazy. But here in Russia, you know, like pro wrestling scene is pretty pretty small. But we have people who likes WWE and hate indie Russian wrestling. You know, oh, it's wow. kind of crazy. It's all it's same. It's same, same here, in America. Same, same here. here. Some people don't like it. I like everything. We like everything. We've been to, I don't know if you know where we live. We live about an hour from Philadelphia. That's where all the rest, the ENCW arena. Um, you guys from uh, New Jersey or something? It's Delaware. From, we're from Smyrna, Delaware. Oh, Delaware, yeah. Yeah, it's very close. We have the states, 50 states. And uh, where we, if, if you were to be an indie wrestler or a hardcore wrestler, then this would be the best place to live. Absolutely. Because you, the, <clears throat> now, the tournament of death that we're going to have next month, this month, 15 minutes away. Wow. DJ's Farm. And you have a lot of good uh, wrestling schools around here. You have the Monster Factory, uh, H2O. You have so many to choose from. Skid Row just opened up recently. So it's uh -huh. a good place to be if you're a wrestling fan and inspired to be a wrestler. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, schools, everything. Yeah, I know. I mean, so it's pretty much like the best territory for indie wrestling right oh, now. 100%. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Even the a lot of the Mid-South guys back in the day, they moved to the East Coast just to be like Chris Hero, Claudio. They moved to the East Coast because ROH, CZW, uh, all these things. And now ICW is in, ICW is in New Jersey. New Jersey. XPW. XPW is down. And everything. Combat Zone Wrestling. Combat back, Zone is back. Is back. Um, so it's good. It's a good place to be. Like H2O. 
the list goes on and on. Monster factory. And what kind of raccoon you have? Uh, oh, this is this is our mascot. <laughs> we call him Gorby. Gorby. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, but um, we'll just get we'll just start off. But um, <clears throat> we're gonna we'll touch everything. Um, so I was watching some interviews with you, and you take twenty two hour train rides sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, so when I was at Tunisian Yogurt, like my hometown, uh, I drove to the St. Petersburg, where, where I live right now, like yeah. 22 hours one way. Oh. So uh, sometimes I just uh, drove 22 hours, did a show, and 22 hours back to my home. So I was like uh, 44 hours on the road and like five hours on the show. So it's, it's, it's kind of crazy, but that's what the, was the only way, you know. You, you love the business. We, had, we did an interview with Drake Younger a couple of weeks ago, if you've seen that. <clears throat> and he talks about the same. He didn't care about the money. He just wanted to be on the show. <clears throat> you know, if you're uh, in a Russian uh, pro wrestling scene, uh, there's no like money at all in it because it's too small. You know, Venice is too expensive and all that shit. And... Uh, I, I don't know, did you saw like blood and sand events? Like uh, sand pit, uh, barbed wire instead of ropes. Oh, we saw those matches oh, in yeah. the farm. It was like a farm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, uh, like Russian government uh, news website uh, was uh, on the show. And like uh, they promised some kind of troubles for us, you know, because oh. death match is pretty much illegal here. Oh, wow. Is the other type of wrestling legal if they had a uh, regular ring and organized? Know, organ yeah, yeah, you know, like uh, we have uh, two uh, biggest companies here. It's like uh, in Moscow, uh, capital of Russia, it, it's called uh, IWF, Independent Wrestling Federation. And uh, in St. Petersburg, where I live now, it's like Northern Storm Wrestling, NSW. So it's like uh, two uh, legal uh, companies and the biggest companies here. Friday night, November 4th, XPW presents the Day of the Dead, live from the Super Crazy Entertainment Center in Westville, New Jersey. We have Daniel Alexander taking on Tarzan Duran in an aerial assault match. Jimmy Chando Lion will be defending the CWF PWA title against a mystery opponent. We have the Hello Earth Assassin making his East Coast return, taking on Alex Stretch in a New Jack Tribute Fans Bring the Weapons match. The first time ever, we have the legendary Matt Tremont taking on Christian Ross in an underground fuckery match. For the first time ever, Rising Deathmatch Superstar Chris Bradley is going to take on the living legend, the Necro Butcher. Secure your invite to the party now. As a great Kevin Hogan used to say, be there. Okay. So Alex, what was your first, what was your first uh, introduction into wrestling? How did you, what was the first thing you seen? You know, I'm not sure why, but uh, I knew about Hulk Hogan uh, all the way, like, uh, since I was a kid, you know, like five years old, I knew about Hulk Hogan, you know, like Santa Claus movies, uh, like comedy movies, like series, uh, all that stuff. And uh, I saw uh, a little bit of WCW on our television because okay. we had uh, like translations with Russian commentators when I was a child. And after that, uh, I saw IWF, Russian promotion on, on television. And I fell in love with professional wrestling since I saw it, you know. Did you ever see, when was the first time you saw a magazine or you knew they had magazines? You know, uh, we don't have magazines here. Uh, we had like a few years ago, we had like a magazine called Spot Fest. Okay. Uh, and it was like five issues only. And I uh, and I had an interview on it, like in a third issue, you know. And it's uh, closed right now because no one wants to buy it, you know. Pretty much, R Russian uh, professional wrestling scene is too small. It's like okay. a fucking, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Uh, I was gonna say. Now, were you guys wrestling during the COVID? 
uh, we had troubles with it, uh, and we had like shows without crowd at all, just tapings, you know. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, so what? Um, let's backtrack a little. What okay. was your first? What was your first? Um, what was the first time you seen deathmatch wrestling, and what made you want to say, "Hey, I want to, I want to do this." Uh, I saw some highlights of uh, CZW and IWA Mid South on yeah. the internet, okay. and I thought, "What the fuck is going on?" Like, you know, light tubes. Where's the mercury in it? How people like you know dying during this type of matches? I couldn't understand what the fuck I'm watching right now. And uh, I show these highlights to everybody in my school. I mean, like elementary school, because I was like too young. <laughs> and everybody thought I'm fucking crazy, but I, I really liked it. And I thought if I could, uh, you know, go to pro wrestling school in Russia, that's the style I want to do. Like 100%, that, that was my dream, to do death matches. And my dream comes true. Now, I saw you have a you have a juggalo a hatchet man on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that about? How did you find out about the clowns? You know, I just saw uh, Juggalo Championship Wrestling. Yeah. Uh, they have, like, fucked up cards, you know. It's like Raisin Ramon versus Corporal Robinson. I was at <laughs> like, that. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. And uh, I, I really into it. I, I really like it. And uh, in St. Town Pazé, the music, I really like it, too. Okay. You like I, I, I don't know anybody in Russia who has a hatchet tattoo. Like I'm maybe I'm the only one in Russia who has uh-huh. it. I'm not sure. Now, do they like American mu- music? Like do you do your you and your friends listen to American music or Russian music? Sure thing American, you know. It, it, really? it, you a lot of people in Russia watch uh, American movies, American TV series. American music, you know, even American wrestling. So uh, it's like in Russia, we really like uh, American media, you know, American culture. We really like it here. Yeah, they do. Awesome. Everywhere's like that. I talk to a lot of people like that. Yeah, it's a it's something else. Because, um, but uh, okay. So what else? Uh, yeah, everybody here knows you. All the hardcore fans know you that we talk to. And I looked at your Instagram, and I saw like. Scotty Vortex is on there and Lane, Insane Lane. Yeah, yes. I, I didn't know about Scotty Vortex uh, on my Instagram. I saw him on there. Insane Lane. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, uh. Friday night, November 4th, live from the Super Crazy Entertainment Center in Westville, New Jersey. We are going to have Craven coming back from the dead for one night only, issuing an open challenge to anybody, anywhere. We have Dirtbag Day and taking on Getty Cahoon in a hardcore match for the number one contender spot for the CWF PWA world title. Superior G is going to be challenging Rio Roman for the prestigious world television title. There's going to be an over the top rope battle royal in memory of our fallen brother, Bill Lunchbox Pomerano. Uh, congratulations on your 20 year anniversary to XBW. There's gonna be shirts, there's gonna be masks, and there's gonna be fuckery for sale. Just a $10 invite fee. Reserve your invite today. Um, so everybody everybody does follow it. It's, it's very interesting, yeah. You know, uh, Masada uh, followed me. But uh, he saw, like, uh, I used skewers in a match. And oh, he God. said, like, uh, 
watch you and then follow me, you know? <laughs> oh, he's a little funny. He kind of started that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's no competition because you're not doing it in a show with he's on. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's like a tribute to his work in Russia, you know, because there's no chance for him to be booked in Russia because of like money issues. Right, visa yeah. issues. And what I'm doing is like a tribute to him, you know, it's like yeah. all the respect. You're not doing it on a American show and uh, that he's yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So growing up, who was your favorite? I mean, when, once you started watching Combat Zone clips of all, who was your favorite? The Necro Butcher. The Necro Butcher. My all time favorite, you know, wrestler. I saw him uh, doing death matches, but after that, I discovered him, you know, doing like regular matches with Samoa Joe, Loki, uh, and all that stuff. And he's uh, like my favorite wrestler of all time. He's gone. Oh, absolutely. That match with him and Samoa Joe was, was unbelievable. It was, it was, you know, classic. It was classic. Do you know this? Do you ever heard of this? Uh, have you ever seen this shirt? No, never. Do you know this guy? I'm not sure. Somebody, somebody, somebody just called me, and they're saying that they know you. And it, but a, a guy named Toby Klein, Mister Insanity. Oh, he's a legend. He's a legend. Do you know him? I, I don't want him to bother you. If you don't want to talk to him, I can hang up. I love him, man. If you want, uh, ask him something about. Toby no, he's Klein on the phone. Him. He's on the phone. He called in. Really. Alex, who? This is Toby Klein. Yes. Oh my God, I can't Alex, believe it. Right? Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How are you this evening? I'm good. I'm good. And now I'm even better when I hear you talking to me. You got shows over there. Alex, you got shows? You running shows? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I don't have my own shows, but I'm like wrestle uh, everywhere in Russia, everywhere when I can. I see on YouTube some of your matches. I can't believe it, you know, it's a dream to me, like dream comes true. Mr. Insanity, fucking like, legend. You, you do crazy things out there, it's fun to watch. Oh my God, thank you, sir, big thank you. And the goatee, uh, the braid in your beard, I like that. Thank you, sir. You got any advice for him, Toby? Toby. I'm old, man. I'm, I'm old. I, nobody wants to hear an old man's advice. Alex does. <laughs> Alex wants oh, to hear it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, you, uh, you don't let people take advantage of you. You hold your ground. Thank you. I, you know, I ordered your DVD Deathmatch Zombie from Smart Mark Video like a few months ago. And it got confiscated at the border. You know, I, I couldn't uh, get it like uh, like a real copy. So a friend of mine in USA ordered it uh, on my money and like sent me the digital version of it. Did you get ripped off? <laughs> no, no. It's, it's a... As some fucking DVD, you know, like zombie movie you and Durange did. It's something yeah. really cool. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were just kids then. Oh, shit. I, I'm talking 20, about Toby Klein right ago. now. What the fuck 20, is 20 going on? 20 years ago we made that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Time is pretty how fast. How, how old are you? 24. I see your video you sent Ian Decay. You sent my friend Ian a, a video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Ian, me and Ian and Deranged are running a wrestling promotion now. Toby said he's running a wrestling promotion. Go, go yeah, yeah, I saw it. I, I'm saying that's cool. It's, it's fantastic. You know, good luck with the new promotion. Can you come over here and wrestle for us? You know, borders are closed right now, you know, because of some political bullshit. <laughs> when they reopen, do you have your passport? Yeah, I have a passport. You know, I need a request for a visa. You're just coming to vacation. You come and stay with us. You stay and hang out with us and say it's a vacation and just hang out. 
I would love to move to USA like forever, you know. That's my favorite country and I really like death matches and professional wrestling in general. Uh, when I went to Japan, I told them it was for vacation and I had a suitcase with a hundred shirts in it and they were very suspicious. <laughs> Security was very suspicious. <laughs> You know, I, I saw your work at BGW. You Good know, your, Alex, you know your death match even from way back. That's good. I really saw a lot of work of Toby Klein. You know, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Thank you. Thank you for that video you made, Ian. I'm appreciated. You know, that was my pleasure. Now, how do we get more videos to you? How do we send them? Send what? Videos? Yeah, to you. How do we send them to you? I think, like... Uh, with the help of Ian DK, I suppose. I'm not sure you can, like, okay. uh, you know, post uh, post uh, office in Russia. It's like too uh, long for uh, delivery. So uh, Ian sent me something, and I am waiting it for now. Okay, how about T-shirts? Wow, Ethan, you know, roof roof. <laughs> Will you get t-shirts that we send? Not yet, not yet. I'm waiting for it. Okay. You know, spooky right, gas, friend the light tubes, spooky gas. I, I think uh, you said it the first, you know, like spooky gas termin, you know. <laughs> hey, we work together someday, okay? In the future. I hope, I hope that's my dream, you know. Really. No bumps for me. No bumps. You take all the bumps. <laughs> He'd love to, right? I took all the bumps. <laughs> I stand. I stand in one spot, and you fall all over. <laughs> She, you know, I, I think I'm dreaming right now. <laughs> so crazy, you know. I, I saw Toby Klein when I was at elementary school, guys. Can you imagine? And and right now I'm talking with Toby Klein. It's and he's a fan small. of yours. He's a fan of yours. Can you imagine if I... If, I can't imagine it, you know. I, I think I'm speaking right now. Oh, Let's Ben. See. What's your worst injury? Your worst injury so far? Uh, I, I had, like, a skin transplantation on my uh, feet because of, like, a fire spot with the gasoline. So I was in a hospital, like, for a two months or so. It was kind of stupid, but it was kind of crazy at the same time, you know. Did you get paid? <laughs> Not much. It's Russia. Oh, no. <laughs> He's paying Just for the love of the business, you know. Yes. Someday you want the big payday, though. You know, it's, it's like not for the money. You know, I can talk with Toby Klein right now. Like, That's like the best reward I can get. <laughs> no, he loves the business. This guy loves the business. We respect that. You know what I mean? We respect yeah. that. Yeah. You know, if you came to America, people would be buying your food, taking care of you. You wouldn't have to spend any money, you know? Well, yeah. I, I can't wait to, like, move to USA, you know? Because Ru uh, Russian professional wrestling, it's, uh, it's too small. It's kind of dead end. So uh, only, like... Uh, You know, I like uh, American wrestling, and I would love to compete in USA because it's like a heaven. It's like a paradise for death matches. Yes, very true. GCW, ICW, uh, XPW, lots of promotions, death matches now. It's like a new wave of death matches right now. It uh, it's it goes in waves. I seen it like this probably 20 years ago, and then it went away for a while, and yeah. now it's coming back. How about you, Mike, as a fan? You've seen it come and go, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's slowed down a little, and it's picked up more than ever now. Any, I mean, there's more shows than there are deathmatch work. It's a lot. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think that COVID, um, you know, that COVID thing uh, had a lot to do with it. You know, uh, deathmatch wrestling was, was alive, and that was the only thing oh, yeah. during the COVID um, yeah. pandemic. Yeah, deathmatch wrestling, they didn't care about the COVID. They were having it in little buildings and fields everywhere. It made it more, actually. It, yeah. Hey, Alex. I'm here, Mr. Insanity. Yes. I want to I wanna book you versus Hoodfoot. Or you wow. Versus, or you versus Cruel. 
Well, <laughs> I would <laughs> love to die in a match with his crew, you know. <laughs> Hood Foot is a crazy man. Number one wrestler you want to wrestle right now. Uh, I would love to wrestle you. <laughs> Retired. You have to pick somebody that still does it. He likes uh, Schlag. Necro, he likes Necro Butcher. Necro Butcher. My old tag team partner, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough Crazy Busters. Yeah. My favorite tag team of all time. Oh, wow. All right. Good choice. <laughs> you know, barefoot. You guys like beat the crap out of every opening you have, you know. You had, I mean, my English is not so good. Many times the promoters paid me and Necro to be stiff with the people we were wrestling. They said, be stiff, beat them up. So we would purposely do that. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. go. They paid more money. So we were like, okay. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> and I remember your matches versus Necker Butcher from like 2003 and 2004 King of the Death matches. This is the craziest shit I saw. The VCR throw. Yeah. Concussion City. Toby. Receipt. I got my receipt. Toby, what about the tag team match? Tell about the tag team. You and Necro versus Justice Payne and Gage at, at the arena. Remember that double header? I saw it. I threw, it. Justice, I, I threw Justice Payne out of the balcony. We wrestled them a couple times there. Remember you took that power bomb on a on a pallet and it didn't even move? Yeah. And then I threw Justice Payne out of the balcony. Right. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember it. And we broke the Smart Mark video table, their merchandise table. <laughs> oh, those were fun matches. Yeah, I, I think those were good matches. Uh, CZW was big then. They were the GCW then. I said all referees afraid of Toby Klein, as I remember. <laughs> there was a couple times where people would find out they were wrestling me and then ask the promoter to switch matches so they wrestle someone else. The referee or the wrestler? They would ask the promoter, the wrestler, would oh. ask the promoter if they could change matches and wrestle somebody mm -hmm. else. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yep, yep. You got anything else? Thank you for your call. Thank you. Thank you for taking the call. Thank you, Toby Klein. You, anything else you want to ask, Toby? You got him here? Uh, come to the United States. You have to stay here for a couple of days and visit. Yeah. I would like. Uh, I would like to stay in USA forever. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, the first time, if you just have a short time here. You make sure to find me and stay a few days. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, you have a good evening. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you guys later. All right, Toby, thanks, buddy. That true death match, uh, legend Toby Klein. You like Toby that? Klein is a true legend. It's, you know, I can't believe it. I still can't believe it, guys. Yeah, I talked to him today, and he said, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he wanted to talk to you. It's epic. Uh, that was special to you, huh? Sure, sure. It's, it's very special. You know, I can't imagine it. Now, I can't imagine you, if you came to America and you go to a dressing room, a tournament of death dressing room, or uh, any anywhere where there's all the guys you know, you would lose your mind, wouldn't you? If you of look course. At, if you saw Necro Butcher here, Drake Younger here, uh, Schlack, Matt Tremont, and they're, like, and they're all walking around. You know, it's impossible. You know, my mind is like blowing up right now if I'm imagining. Yeah, yeah. That would be something. Well, hope, well what would it take? I mean, everyone always saying you got to come here. What would it exactly take for you to come here? What would, what, what you have a, what do you have to have a passport? Uh, what, I mean, we lost you again. Uh, you know, I said my country is fucked up a little bit, you know. I have right. two passports, two passports, and I still need a visa. It's oh, like, okay. you know, forest visa or something. No, uh, it's like for the first time, someone wants to book a, a real Russian, you know, from, you know, from Russian wrestling. So it's difficult. Yeah. I mean, there has, you know, 
I'm surprised. I was looking up the Russian Sports Hall of Fame, and I was surprised that Ivan and Nikita Koloff are not in there. You know, I, I think they are not real Russians, you know? <laughs> really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Wow. We thought they were from Russia. Yeah. You know, uh, only professional wrestler uh, I uh, consider a real Russian, it, it's a Masha Slamovich. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we've seen her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's right. from, she really is from, Russia? from Russia. Yeah. yeah she, she wrestled at the IWF show at Moscow. Yeah. Well, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's it, the same company I'm wrestling. And actually, I was booked at the same day, but uh, from like 20 hours uh, from the IWF, I was booked at NSW. If I was booked at IWF, I could wrestle her. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She's she's good. She's blowing up. She just had a, a match on, on Impact with uh, with yeah. Alley Cat. And she, she's doing good. She, she's cool. Oh, yeah. Um, so what else we can say? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, you like you like beer, right? What's your favorite beer? Do you have American beer there? Um, you know we have like Budweiser. You know, yeah, you know, like that. No, but I, I don't <laughs> think that's is it expensive? Is import like how much is Budweiser very expensive there because it's imported? Yeah, uh, a little bit expensive, you know. And we have like Mexican uh, beer, like Corona. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Corona. Yeah. Corona's good. We got that here. Yeah. But you drink, would you prefer American beer or Russian beer? You know, uh, I had a fan who like gave me this. It's like oh, wow. Lucha beer. Lucha that's beer. awesome. You ever heard of that? No, I never heard of it. That. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That might be a gimmick beer where they, they make the can. It could be any type of beer. I've never seen that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hmm. It's like the only one, uh, like Gucci beer in Russia, you know. Right, right. Uh, I like strong beer. Strong. Oh, beer okay. We li I like light beer. I like like Michelob Light, Ultra, Miller Light. They're very easy to drink, but you're you're hardcore, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the um, oh, okay. We, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Tell me about that. What what was that? What was that about? Was there a story behind that? You know, it's a fucked up story. So like, match was uh, stopped after like uh, three minutes. You know. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, caught hanger incident. Yeah, it, yeah. It's still yeah. unreleased on YouTube because uh, I think promoter is afraid of something. And the guy uh, who took the razor caught hanger, uh, it's like my friend from. My hometown, Nizhinograd. Okay. Yeah, we saw that. I couldn't believe it. Oh, it was it was insane. It's crazy. Yeah. It was on a, another level of insanity. It's worse. It was like, remember when Pondo and Ian wrestled in the CZW? Skisser's like, Incident. Huh? Skisser's Incident, you mean? I was at that show. Wow. It, it's been... like CZW Bloodbath 2000. Yes, yes. It was 2000. And Pondo had just started with CZW then. But um, that was in the original arena in Mantua, um, New Jersey. And then they moved to Champs Arena. Friday night, November 4th, XBW presents the Day of the Dead. Live from the Super Crazy Entertainment Center in Westville, New Jersey. We have Daniel Alexander taking on Tarzan Duran in an aerial assault match. Jimmy Chando Lion will be defending the CWF PWA title against a mystery opponent. We have the Hello Earth Assassin making his East Coast return, taking on Alex Stretch in a New Jack tribute fans bring the weapons match. The first time ever, we have the legendary Matt Tremont taking on Christian Ross in an underground fuckery match. For the first time ever, Rising Deathmatch superstar Chris Bradley is going to take on the living legend, the Necro Butcher. Secure your invite to the party now, as a great Kevin Hogan used to say, be there. Hey, Mike, you changed your shirt after that commercial break. What, what do you got on there now? IWA Deep South. Deep South. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. We got another. We got someone else's calling. This guy. Hold on. He says he knows you. 
Alex, this guy named Kevin Kennedy? Yeah. And I was Mad Men Pongo? Wait, wait. I don't know. Do you want to talk to him or not? You've got to be kidding right now. It's like Mad Men Pongo? I told Alex not real gasoline on your feet way back in the day. <laughs> yeah. It was a good What's lesson. What's up, Alex, man? I'm good. I'm good. Someday, How are you, and you, before I give all this shit up, we got to get in the ring together. I hope, I hope. I really I really wish to fight with you, Mr. Pondo. You guys got to stop fucking with the Ukraine so you can get over here, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no politics, Fuck no politics. politics. <laughs> Fuck politics, you know? Yeah. Hey, man, I just want to say I watch all your videos, and you're doing good things for Deathmatch wrestling over there and i hope you come to america you'll be a big star this is a huge honor for me sir thank you i really appreciate it no problem all right guys i'm i'm getting ready to watch smile again so i'll let you go but i just want you to pop in and tell alex keep keep bleeding son keep bleeding <laughs> thank you good day to you sir Oh wow! How about that? I hope I hope no other nobody else calls. <laughs> God, this is crazy. We we had we gotta men. get we gotta get through this interview somehow. Yeah, we do, we do. And that was the two men that just called from that infamous uh, the pencil spot, the pencil board spot. Oh, that's a Azawa design, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Pondo sent that to me. Well, I, I paid him for it, but you know he sells a lot of shirts. Awesome. You know that Japanese um, artist, huh? Yeah, yeah. He's the best. You know, I'm a big fan of that much, so I know everything, you know? Yeah, you do. You do. He knows everything. I mean, do you, um, I mean, how far back do you go? Do you watch the old Big Japan from the way, what, old, old, like Onita and all that? Yeah, yeah. I, I like old school, you know? Right now I'm watching like FMW, like uh, Wing. You know, IWA Japan, you know, like old stuff. So, who's your current favorite star? Current Mitsuhiro favorite Matsunaga. Star? Mitsuhiro Matsunaga. Okay. Oh, wow. Mr. Yeah. Danger. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, I'm just throwing some other stuff around. So, those, I'm curious about the, those matches that you have in that backyard with the bob wire around. Where is that? Is that some farm or and and how do you advertise those matches? Are those friends or is it free? How does no, that... no, no, no. It's it's kind of fucked up story because this is the biggest payday you can get because you know it's a farm, so it's like uh, no spending money on the venue and like all, all the money from the fans, uh, so we get it, you know. It's a farm of uh, Alexei Hitri, my tag team partner, uh, okay. and I had a first uh, death match versus him. Uh, you can watch it on YouTube. Uh, and Blood and Sand, it's you know we had Blood and Sand uh, seven, and we had uh, Ivan Markov Lokomotiv. It's like pretty much the bi biggest uh, Russian uh, wrestling star. He wrestled in DDT in Japan, in, in Zero One Japan. Oh, really? Okay. And he wrestled at the Blood and Sand, you know, it's it's crazy. Oh wow. Yeah. Um your your first backyard match was where? Where or like you had backyard wrestling? I guess it's kind of a little bit what I noticed about your show, your matches, some of them are in very nice venues, very nice buildings with very good rings. And then some are out in the field. You're everywhere. It's just like it kind yeah, of like no. GCW backyard and with IC. It's like a mixture of everything, like pit, pit fighter. Yeah, I wrestled uh, in every promotion in Russia right now. So like I wrestled in the biggest one, like IWF in Moscow, and I wrestled at the farm. So uh, any chance I can uh, do death matches, I do pro wrestling, you know, any chance I have, uh, I do it. Okay. How far are you from the farm? How far do you live from the farm? Oh, 10, 15 hours. Oh, one wow. Way. Is there a federation in St. Petersburg now that you live there? There must be something there, right? Yeah, it's an often storm wrestling, like second biggest federation here. 
Oh, oh okay. So you're that's a good space to be. You're, yeah. Okay. That's yeah, yeah. Good. You know, uh, since uh, in my hometown uh, right now, there's like no company doing shows. So I moved to the St. Petersburg. Uh, also, we have a cool like uh, wrestling school, you know, and I'm doing uh, trainings with them uh, when I can. So I moved uh, for like biggest opportunities, you know. Okay. Okay. Now, I saw this match the other day uh, 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 that you had on Piper Sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You saw like a young girl, very attractive young girl. What's her background? I, I couldn't find much. What's her story? Uh, there's a lot of matches in YouTube. Uh, so she debuted in the biggest fed, like in Moscow, IWF. Uh, and I wrestled in there too. And she always wanted to do a death match. Oh, okay. Uh, she's a fan of death matches, but since in IWF, uh, not much of a death matches. Uh, and she did it with me at the Blood and Sand. It was my dream and her dream too. It's like my first intergender death match. It wow. was my first. Wow. Did you did you um did you did you go at that match differently in your mind because it's a did you treat her like a woman in you in any way? No, no, nah, nah. You know, if you saw the clip, uh, like elbow exchange. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, uh, she beat me, and like when I did an elbow to her. She like knocked the fuck out. To yeah, the yeah, ground, I'm sorry. You know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's crazy. She's crazy, you know. I think she, I think she like it. We've got some girls here that actually like it too. Mickey Knuckles. Yeah, uh, Mickey Knuckles, Disney. Queen of the Death Matches. Okay. Yeah, they love it. They, they love it. When you had some, I was gonna, I was gonna say, you said you were training with the school around there. Is it? Are more wrestling schools opening up as as times are changing? Uh, right now, we have only like two schools. Two schools, you know, in Moscow and in Saint Petersburg, because it's like the biggest companies. So I I did trainings uh, every time I have a chance, you know. So I, I trained at the Gokke City Wrestling, but that school was like local and small. And now I'm training at the NSW because uh, we have a guy here uh, in NSW. His name is Swipe, and he uh, was in Germany for a WXW seminar. Oh wow! So you know, it's like a Good technical school. A good technical. That's all. That's awesome. That's from awesome. Germany. Yeah. And would do they say anything about you doing death matches? Uh, you know, uh, I did a few death matches at the NSW because uh, every fans in Saint Petersburg wants to see blood. When they see me, you know, we know what I'm doing, and they want blood. We want death matches, but promoters like uh, afraid to do death matches in a venue because it's it's expensive. You know, it's like troubles, no glass allowed. But I did like uh, cinder block, uh, tables, you know, chairs match at the NSW. Okay. Uh, we got a couple. Oh, uh, some of the, oh, they, people wanted to know, um, some people called in, who would you like, who would you like to meet in America wrestlers, like deathmatch guys that you would really like to, I mean, I know you want to meet, or you probably want to meet all of them, but you like Necro, Pondo, people like that. You know, I would love to fight Schlack because he's a beast, you know? Yeah. I knew you liked Schlack. This is his band. It's the Turnbuckle, yeah. You, know, you heard of them, huh? Yeah, yeah, they, of course. They played, they played a CZW show a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. That's an you come here, we get you all kind of shirts. You <laughs> discount. Yeah. So, so we talk about wrestlers you wanted to you want to wrestle for. So, growing up, is there any companies that you wanted to wrestle for, or any companies oh, that you want to yeah. wrestle for now? Of course, uh, when I was a kid, I was a big fan of CZW. Like it, it was the biggest uh, ultra violent company around, you know. So, of course, Combat Zone Wrestling is something legendary for me. Oh, but I love uh, ICW no holds barred, like yeah, no that's chains, good. the pit fighter rigs. You know, it's that's some fucking concept. That's where you would fit in the best. You fit in all of them, but that that's where I could see you. The original CCW guys and the IWA guys. Who were the ones that you like? Like Corporal Robinson, Toby. Like those were the original. That's like the original ones that started it. CCW with the white, you know, wife beater and all that. Yeah, and, and yeah, CZW and IWA, Ian Rotten, Ian Rotten, Mitch Page, you know, 
Suicide Kid. It's like from the beginning of IWM itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Suicide Kid. I know it all, you know. Uh, I, uh, I have an I, IWTV account, so I watch uh, every show. Oh, IWTV? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I'm into I it, you know. I, I know uh, every wrestler from IWM itself and CZW. I watch it all. I, I feel like it was special back then. You know, uh, Combat Zone Wrestling had their exclusives. IWA had their exclusives. Yeah. Um, that's what that I, I call it the, the golden years of deathmatch wrestling back then because it was something different every every company. It's like 2003, Zandig versus Ian Rotten, you know, Taipei deathmatch. And like uh, CZW Respect show 2003, you know, like uh, Exploding Cage, Zandig versus Ian Rotten. It's something legendary. Those things are all those all the deathmatch tournaments were in Delaware where we lived. Yeah, that yeah, I know. All, yeah, very like uh, Breakaway Tavern with Sexy Eddie with the blood and all that. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is that is legit. That's two miles down the road. Wow. I could walk to that place. We've done we've done some videos on there with Mickey Knuckles and things like that. You can check them out. You can send him those. Absolutely. Things. Oh, yeah. yeah, we could definitely send me. Please send me. But, I would love to watch. Here's a question. You. Um, the other day you got cut underneath, right? Yeah, you know, it's like, is it's, it still, oh. it, it's the green stuff. It's like rough medical soul called brilliant green. And it's still like, it's still pretty bad, you know. But is it okay? Yeah. It's oh, cool. yeah, yeah. That's a bad yeah. So, Doctor said I can't wrestle. But I said, fuck it. I did the show at NSW like a few weeks ago. And I uh, had like blood... Uh, from my you know scar it was bad yeah but try to you know there's a, those this area that's where nick gage got cut yeah you know? yeah and again it's, it's like a few inches uh to the armpit and i will be dead right now we'll oh dead. yeah we can try to be careful with those uh, yeah you know what i mean I, we worry about you sometimes you go too crazy but yeah but you know you can th that area and this neck area i always yeah, yeah yeah you gotta you gotta now there was a girl i saw i've done research i there was a girl that did stitches in the yeah. it, a girl with she had a tattoo on her neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, was yeah. a real nurse because she was actually did real stitches. They had some somebody in the crowd doing stitches. What's the story yeah. with that? So so you know, uh, she did the stitches and uh I was at the hospital like a, a few days after it, and the doctor watched at the stitches and said it's the most fucked up stitches he ever saw, you know. <laughs> he said <laughs> <laughs> what? He asked me, it's like some of your enemies did the stitches for you or something. <laughs> I said, oh, no, I, I don't know. And, you know, she, uh, a bad sand lover, you know, and she's got uh, her own, like, tattoo salon, you know, piercing and body modification. Oh, God. <laughs> she even, you know, like, delete human uh, testiculars. What do you, mean you know delete? what I mean? She cuts them off. Cuts, cuts, cuts them off, yeah, yeah. Oh, she for what? Did it. She, she did it. I, I'm not sure, like, a lot of crazy guys. Uh, she did, like, you know, tongue split, you know, like... Uh, oh, I know that, split. yeah, yeah, yeah. She did a penis split. Oh, I've seen, I've heard of that, I've seen that, yeah. Yeah, so, like, uh, she knows how to stitches and uh, and everything, but I, I'm not sure doctor said that stitches is suck. <laughs> but <laughs> She's, yeah. she, she had an experience, you know? Okay, she was the best she had. She was a doctor, I know. guess, yeah. yeah. You mean, so we had to take him out and redo him? Yeah, like, after the match, uh, she said to me, uh, just, you know, use the painkillers on me. She said no alcohol uh, after that. I said okay and drink alcohol after that, but uh, everything was good, you know. <laughs> so, what's the worst injury you have had to date? The foot. The, oh, yeah, that's right. The foot. The skin transplantation, you know. I was like two months in the hospital, couldn't oh. walk, you know, uh, use the wheelchair to piece and shit in the toilet, you know. Uh, and it was like a real hell because every time when I step on my feet, you know, uh, blood pressure gives oh. uh, uh, more blood, you know. I just don't know how to explain it because it's like some kind of medical language, you know. Oh, I know. It was, it, it, was, it was a pure hell. Now, I saw the hospital that you were in. They showed pictures. It was like everybody was in a big room, right? It was like a yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. It's like world, uh, you know, like during the World War II, you know, like yeah. it's my hometown hospital. It's, but that's the regular uh, hospital that you would go to, that there was no separate rooms? 
you know, we have we had like a lot of rooms, uh, and in my room we had like four beds with people, you know, with uh, burns, and at at uh, like you know neighbor's room we had a guy with ninety percent of burns, you know, oh, so no. his whole body was like covered uh, in blood, and he wasn't at the bed, you know, he was like you know uh, some kind of a ropes or something and he couldn't like stand or uh, uh, lean in the bed yeah. he was like in the air or something okay so so when you went to the hospital what did the doctors say what did they think about when when you said oh i, I this happened from a wrestling match they don't say that you know i i never said it was during the death matches we said it was a barbecue oh. and, and and like a barbecue grill uh like uh, fall on me you know oh. <laughs> and i had uh like four uh punctures from the fork because uh i had a fork in my forehead uh, and i and they asked me what's wrong with your forehead you know it's like because it, it was covered in blood you know slices everywhere and I said, like, a barbecue grill was too high, <laughs> and it, like, pushed me to my head, you know? Oh, you so, mean they asked about other injuries? And they, they think, yeah, yeah, of course. And they said, they, they were questioning, like, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, is, what is this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, I said barbecue. <laughs> they believe it. They just want to hear something. Yeah, that's, that's funny, because uh, let me tell you a story. You know, Ian Rotten, right? Ian, yeah. Ian told me one time. He got bit by a spider. Yeah. And he had to go, it was a big wound, a, 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 a dangerous poison spider. I think he said I saw pictures of it. Huh? I saw the pictures of uh, okay. Ian with, you know, syringe in his chest. Yes. With, yes. After he went spider. to the hospital and they had him checked in because it was so severe. You know, they had to keep him there. <clears throat> and he said that all the, uh, the nurses kept coming and looking at his head, you know, that, and, and they kept going, and they were like coming in, and they thought he was having a, a reaction <laughs> that nobody would ever have. And I think they, I think he said, well, they told me that don't get, don't get nervous, but um, we're thinking you're, you're, something's happening to your skin. <laughs> he, they didn't know. They're like they thought that the the, the spider was affecting yeah, the yeah. skin. Yeah, some like allergic effect, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like something, and they were so. It was like we've never seen this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, can you imagine Ian's Jim's rotten body? forehead is fucked up? You know, it's like a big, you know, like mess on his forehead. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the worst for yeah. Abdullah Butcher has a bad one. Uh, Corporal Robinson has a really bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Corporal yeah. Robinson. One time I was with Corporal Robinson. We were he wrestled in in Dover, and we went to uh, we were going somewhere to eat. Is uh, I think uh, he was with me, and there was another group of like. Spot Nate, Nate Webb and some, and he goes in. We go in, he wanted to get a pack of cigarettes, right? But he didn't have his license with him for whatever reason. And they're like, We need to show your license. He goes, I'm I'm 21. And he goes, Well, we need to see your license. He goes, How many, how many, how many uh 21 year olds got a forehead like that? God damn. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, well, um, I'll, here I'll buy it for him. And they're like, No, you can't buy it either because I'm 30 something years old. You no, know, you can't buy it because you're going to give it to him. I'm like, oh, we left. We went somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys, yeah, they, make, they must get. Um, Corporal Robinson, yeah, I left his work too. Yeah. The um, uh, okay. Now, what kind of fat? What kind of foods do you have over there that you don't have over there that you would come over here and try? Like the like the restaurants that you see. Are there restaurants that you want to eat at here in America that you don't have in Russia? Uh, I would love to eat at Wendy's. Wendy's? Wendy's, yeah. It's, you know, I had a friend uh, from Colorado, I okay. suppose, uh, and he was in my hometown. Uh, actually, he was from the, like, uh, Latter Day Saints Church, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he was like a missionary to my hometown, and uh, we hang out with him, and he said that the Wendy's is, like, the best fast food he ever tried. Okay. And actually, he uh, ate at McDonald's and uh, KFC in Russia and said that uh, KFC in Russia uh, is like better than KFC in USA. Well, hmm, I believe. And, and you know, every American 
uh, I, I know uh, who ate uh, in KFC in Russia. They all said that KFC in Russia is better. I don't know why. I don't know. That's weird. What, what other restaurants would you try when you come here? If you when you get over here, where would you like to go? Ch Philadelphia cheesesteak. Uh, I'm you not know, sure what it is. You know, I would love to like uh, eat a real uh, Mexican food, like burrito, because uh, here we don't have it. Oh, wow. like, we have some very good restaurants. Well, we got the area. we got the low one. We got the low like Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Heard of Taco Bell? I heard it. Yeah, that's the fast food. But if you've never had it, you'd like it. We yeah, like it. Yeah. And then they have other ones that are authentic. The best are the ones that are run by Mexican people. Yeah, you know, I, I would love to try Mexican food because here in Russia we don't have it at all. Oh, you love it! Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. It's what good. about um? What about uh, um, Chinese food? We have like sushi, you know, here, oh. but uh, I'm not into it. You know, it's like sushi is not my thing. Do you know about Waffle House? You watching the shoot interviews? All the guys, the Waffle House is open 24 hours, so all the wrestlers used to like to go to Waffle House after the shows because it's open 24 hours oh oh i got you N never heard about waffle house no never heard. no that's crazy that's crazy. i thought you knew that. yeah um waffle house uh what else we got we have a wawa wawa sheets the wawa is a, sta is a, is a sandwich shop yeah i heard about it but uh, you know in russia we have only like burger king uh kfc and mcdonald's but now like you know mcdonald's uh, has a new yeah, name closed, yeah, yeah. They closed, they closed all the McDonald's. Yeah, you know, it's like a new brand here. So, like, same food, but the uh, name of it, it's like Tasty and Doubt or something. Okay. If, if you close the McDonald's in the United States, uh, um, many people would starve to death. You know, <laughs> riots. You know, they would riot. And, and the, the dollar, they have the dollar meal, the dollar, the special dollar meal where you get cheap. The, like a, the hamburger for a dollar to print it's gone up a little bit but yeah yeah they would right they would be more upset over the mcdonald's closing than probably anything, than anything yeah. <laughs> i agree with that you yeah. know mcdonald's uh and kfc in russia it's it's expensive actually what? it's expensive yeah it's expensive you know it's like how much like what oh you, you know i'm not sure the currency you know like one u.s dollars it's like uh 60 russian rubles so say okay in america if you worked one hour at the minimum wage you would be able to eat at mcdonald's whatever you want like 15 dollars. you could buy i uh, know uh, here it's not the same you know in mexico you would have to work a couple you would there, your pay would be it would be too much okay in mexico it's like that too. it's expensive it's, exp it's more expensive yeah than, than i don't even eat them i don't really go there but like, yeah that's that's something uh, what you got anything else? So, uh, one of the, one of the fans, J Joe Hill, asked, uh, wh "Who's your favorite opponent you ever uh, wrestled?" Uh, you know, Dayak Sanchez is my favorite opponent right now. He's my tag team partner as well. Crazy guy, you know. You can check our matches on YouTube. Me versus Dayak Sanchez. Uh, like our favorite match was at the Blood and Sand Four. Okay. Uh, I got a couple here. You got more? You got so, would you say Blood and Sand is like your, like, like the Russian version of like, like a tournament of death or like a cage of death? It's like a high profile death match show in Russia. Yeah, you know, Blood and Sand is like a, like a Pete Fighter X, but like Sand Pete, you know, like okay. Russian version. I, I don't know if you heard about uh, Strelka MMA championship in Russia. So, we do all the shows at the Sand Pete. Okay, and that's the concept. Uh, like Alexei Hitrich, uh, it's like some kind of like stolen from the Strelka, you know. But uh, we have a barbed wire instead of ropes. That's awesome. Yeah, well, have we seen some? We seen some on YouTube. That's um, we love the concept. Oh yeah, you know, uh, all blood and sand shows uh, like free on YouTube on like Slavic Slavonic culture violence channel. We're gonna check them out, and we're gonna drop the links so people can check yeah. them out. The uh the hospital match you had you had a match in a hospital, what's the yeah, story yeah. behind that? I couldn't believe that. Like what was that a real building uh, or is it empty building? It looked like it was a regular hospital. So uh, we did an, a show in Kazan. It's like Tatarstan Republic uh, in Russia, like five hours from Nizhny Novgorod to my hometown, and uh, the promoter wanted to do like after party, you know. And uh, 
we had in a venue uh, like it was like a big you know uh, um, like a theater or something and they had a hospital room okay. for like emergency you know and we did a brawl in it so yeah, it like... was it was you know it was illegal too because uh, owners of the theater didn't knew we did a match in a hospital room it was a real it, hospital yeah it was the emergency room in the future didn't they didn't they call the uh they didn't call the police or anything it was uh almost at the midnight oh <laughs> so, it was late oh okay okay yeah, i got gotcha. you yeah. i got gotcha. you um oh i i also i was watching a picture in one picture i saw you you could do a complete split right yeah yeah are you trained in karate or martial arts uh when i was a kid i uh trained wushu you know like wushu I'm, I'm not sure how to like uh, spell it on english martial arts okay it's, it's like uh, it's like a karate you know yeah, yeah. Like that. How, how long did you train with that um not too long you know uh, like half of the year or something i was like in the fifth grade okay but you, you can do a split you can do a split oh. do, have you ever had now here sometimes this happens guys get mad they start they start really fighting shooting on each other does yeah. that happen does that happen in russia or and has happened to you or have you done it what has that ever happened a any stories about that uh i, I never had it but uh, every time i do a match uh i like say let's do it like stiff you know like shoot headbutts you know and like stiff punches uh, that's the way i like to work you know and uh you know, we have opponents here who like afraid of my headbutts, afraid of my you know, elbows, like punches. Uh, and at NSW, I had a match versus Alexander Gopkin. It's like a huge man. And we did a slap during the matches and he uh, busted my you know, eardrum. eardrum. Oh, he busted my eardrum. So like that's the way I work. You know, we always do it like full contact, you know. Like really stiff, I like it. Oh, okay. What's your favorite weapon to use in a match? I like, uh, you know, I like light tubes, light but tube. uh, also uh, I would love to do like neuro barbed wire match. You know, not in a sand pit. I mean, like in the actual ring. Yeah, yeah. That's my dream. It, it was never in Russia happened. You know, so neuro barbed wire in Russia it never happened for now. <laughs> Are you going to be able to watch TOD next week? Uh, I think so. In next month, it on gonna, it's IW TV or Fight TV? No, it's, streamed. it's going to be streamed. C uh, CZW, the Tournament of Death. They got Insane Lane. Um, who else? Mickey Knuckles. Uh, Mickey uh, Knuckles. Like, yeah. Necro uh, Butcher. Necro, Necro Butcher's Butcher coming back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard like maybe. Bobby Beverly on it. Or not, Bobby Beverly. Know. Oh yeah, Bobby Beverly's on it. Oh, yeah. it Orin Wade. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he, he might win it. it. I think he's he, he's underdog. He's gonna take it home. Do you have fans all over the world contacting you? What countries contact you? I know United States. We all know you. What about Europe, Japan? How does that work? Uh, Japan, Germany, Canada. You know, even like India or Bangladesh contacted me. I saw the Indian guy that interviewed you. That yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. He was asking you. He couldn't believe. He's like, why do you do that? What you? That was a good interview. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was fun. That was fun. You know, there is, listen, there's money for you to make. When you have that many following, you don't need millions of following. But when you got a couple thousand people and they get the shirts, like get the, maybe get the Japanese guy to design you a shirt and, uh, and, and then sell it all. I don't know. I don't know the marketing, but. You got something that you could work with. Trust me. You know, it's it's crazy. I sold more shirts worldwide than in Russia. So 
I sold shirts to Germany, Canada, USA. Like I sold more shirts to worldwide, you know, than to Russia. That would wow, be good. Yeah. I got to get one of those. No, yeah. I, want, I don't want the. I want. I want the wieners. The wieners scribbled out. <laughs> you still got that one? Yeah, yeah. It's on indieconnection.com, and there's like uh, uncancelled version and like cancelled one. Did, did, did you, you, you that? Did you yeah. draw that? It, it was like uh, a girl. Uh, she's an artist, uh, and I uh, asked her to draw a print for me. Okay. So getting into deathmatch wrestling, what does your family think about it? Oh, my family hates it, you know. <laughs> so like uh, my father, he's like from uh, Azerbaijan. It's like Caucasian country. So uh, he thought that pro wrestling is like an amateur wrestling, you know, just you know grappling and all the stuff. And he was at a day job, you no, know, like uh, at work, and decided to show his friends uh wrestling match of mine oh and okay. he thought it's like a classic wrestling like no pro wrestling just you know grappling and he like uh, search on the youtube like uh, alexander nabiev match and he <laughs> saw me versus Megadon cross you know it's like uh, the fire guitar spot screwers oh. into the head and all that, that match like the infamous match and he was uh, he like went crazy when he saw it you know every uh, every people had to work uh, his work you know he uh, they all think i'm a fucking fucked up uh, person you know i'm a crazy man you know i'm a sick one you know so i had a phone call from my uh, dad and, and he said what the fuck are you doing you know fork <laughs> in your uh, in your head man it's like, what's wrong with you? That's I thought you're doing grappling. <laughs> what are you doing? What I said, that it's a death match, you know. It's like uh, it's a style of professional wrestling. She said, "Fuck you! You can't do it. You know, you would die. <laughs> what are you doing? It was fun, you know." What uh, I got another question for you. What music do you listen to be- to get yourself amped up before one of your matches? I'm a big fan of Gigi Allen. Oh, you know, there you go. I'm a big oh. fan of Gigi Allen, you know. I like Gigi Allen and Murder Junkies, you know. Like, bite it, it's calm, die when you die, you know. All of it, all of it music, I like it. Did you see the video when he was in New York City? It was one of the last things. He's walking around the streets naked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throwing it. Or, and then, he's crazy. I mean, yeah, you, you're the Gigi Allen of wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, Danny Havoc used to like Gigi Allen. Then I have had a music team, uh, Gigi Allen, When I Die, in 2010. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. He was a good... Were you a big fan of Danny Havoc? I'm sure you were that. Danny Havoc, uh, rest in peace. He's a real, real legend, you know. Brain damage? Of course. Yeah, that was good. Casey was Bailey. Jeez. I know. We remember all those guys. Yes, yes. Um, Besides Gigi Allen, do you listen to any, like, hard rock, like Disturbed, Corn, anything like that? Yeah, yeah, I like hard rock, you know, I, I like uh, American rock, you know, I love Russian rap and American rock. Oh, Russian rap? Yeah. Oh, I've never heard that. I wouldn't know what they're saying. <laughs> you know, uh, we have a lot of people here who listen to American rap and don't know what they're saying, but they still love it. Oh, absolutely. Okay. It sounds good, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, just check out on the YouTube, like, Morgan Stern. It's, Morgan. it's I'll write it down. What? Morgan Stern. Morgan Stern. Morgan Stern? The, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay. like uh, the most famous Russian rapper. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like uh, uh, millions uh, of viewers, viewers of, on the YouTube. I'll look it up. I listen to all kind of music. Um. I was getting, how was your how did you do in school did you play any sports in school or what were you like in school uh, about wrestling? i did a wushu and that's all you know i never liked it uh, like i i don't like playing you know basketball or football i don't like it you know it's like not my thing did, did you did you uh how were the schools in in russia are they are they you know, strict or how is the school system uh, I heard uh, in USA you have like wrestling in school, yeah, yes, like amateur yes. wrestling. Amateur. So we don't have it here. 
here is like completely different system you know we have only like football and not like professional you know it's like just oh, a game yeah. for kids you know okay. so you you can't be a football player uh from the school you know what i mean and we don't have like uh, american football we have like soccer and soccer sucks <laughs> oh okay. have you ever watched american football of course oh that's you... cool that's cool no you like it yeah yeah i don't like soccer I'm, i don't like basketball but i like american football oh that's crazy yeah. what about boxing yeah i did boxing like for one year uh in 2015 oh, i did okay. boxing okay also uh before i moved to st petersburg we did like street boxing in my hometown it's it's like in a in a backyard we just uh, did trainings by ourselves you know just uh put the gloves on and like did boxing with each other yeah you 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 sound like a lot of people started out like that did you ever get did you do a lot of fight i i seen some of your stories i think you might be in a bar getting into a fight do you yeah fight? yeah i had i had some bar fights you know uh, i had a story it's my favorite i was completely drunk like it was uh, you know completely fucking drunk and and i bite it off uh, some guy's eyebrow ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay <laughs> we did a street fight with him you know it was fun but did you fight when you were a kid in school in in as a young uh, you know i, I not not much you know i i started to uh, fight when i started to drink alcohol you know okay you got to be careful with that <laughs> <laughs> you were in a bar the other night i saw on your on the instagram with this big guy and he was singing it was like so, yeah, yeah 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 it, it what's that about today. it's a stas boretsky it's like russian legend he doing like gangster music you know he's like from the 90s and he own a funeral home like a grave digging company we were just going to ask about russia like now uh when you moved you moved you lived near moscow yeah or? like like 5 10 hours from moscow and then you moved to st petersburg yeah yeah it now the city that you lived in it was in a small town where you came from you know it's like uh my town is like old one it was it was founded in uh 1000 uh, uh you know like 1221 yeah, yeah. 1221 like right town. Saint, now in america nothing is that old yeah my town is old uh, very very and uh, we have like uh, kremlin like not the moscow kremlin like uh, nizhny novgorod kremlin so it was like built at 1221 okay you know? the, um and then you moved to st petersburg yeah Now you live in Now St. Petersburg is that's close to Europe, right? Yeah, really close to Finland, you know, like you can walk from the border. You're that close to Finland, really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Now, when you move there, is it is it hard is it like economy in America is it's, it's very expensive to live in cities and in believe it or not, I know you love America, but if you came to move if you move to New York City, you could not afford it. I can't nobody can nobody, afford it. Yeah. People, wow. the housing is very I didn't expensive. I didn't know it. You know it's uh I lived uh, at my friend's house for a while. Now I'm renting like one room. Okay. And uh, actually I supposed to live at the NSW training base for the first like few weeks, but uh I lived at a friend's house uh, and now I'm live at the same, you know, building than my friend but uh, at a different apartment. So oh. yeah it you know it's like St Petersburg is a completely different city from uh, Nizhny Novgorod where I lived. So you know Nizhny Novgorod uh, when I was born uh, you know it it's not a small town because we have like 1 million people population. Yeah. Uh, but uh, St Petersburg is like completely different. You know we have like uh, robot delivery here. Robots delivery here. Oh, is it, yeah no I've heard good things St Petersburg is like one of the most the nicest one of the nicest parts of Russia Yeah it's it's like a beautiful it's a beautiful city you know we have a lot of tourists here uh, at least we had before like uh, political situation Right so, right right well um so it's so it's expensive to live in St Petersburg it would be hard to buy have a big apartment there uh, Yeah big apartment is uh, actually it's like almost impossible to have a big apartment even in a Nizhny Novgorod because you know like 
uh, I'm written a uh, one room apartment. Okay. Like for real, like one room. And if you want to buy it, it costs like a uh, four, seven million rubles, mm. you know? And my uh, month, monthly payday uh, is like 30,000. So imagine how it's uh, like difficult to buy uh, an apartment here. It, is it hard to have a car there? See, in America, is everybody has a car. Like everybody we know has a car. Everybody has a car. You know, it's difficult to have a good car, you know, here. So like uh, some uh, car from the like Japan, you know, some like uh different uh country car you know what i mean okay yeah yeah uh, but you can buy like russian cheap and bad car you know you can buy it but you get around in, tra in trans is the transportation good there the the subway the no i i don't have like driving license i i don't have a car so like i'm moving uh or at my friend's car with him or or by the train you know like train you, you know, it's crazy. In America, we're having a lot of crime. In, I don't know if you know, like Philadelphia, different cities have a lot of crime. In, in say, St. Petersburg, is it very safe to be, like, could you go, could a woman be on the train at one o'clock in the morning by herself? Uh, you know, we have like uh, city trains and like uh, Russian trains, you know, by the uh, whole country. You know what I mean? So not like a subway, not like a city train, like okay. uh, uh, from one city to another city, like train. I, I did a 22 hours on a train. Right. Way, you know, so it's like intercity train. Okay. So how but, like to explain. Is, and I live, I, I'm not living in a central uh, neighborhood, uh, like central part of St. Petersburg. I live in a... Uh, criminal neighborhood actually criminal so, neighborhood, really uh, sometimes we have like shootings on the streets here where i'm leaving so oh. it's kind of fucked up you know uh, everybody drinking on the street you know everybody's uh, like smoke weed on the street and you know weed is completely illegal in russia like for one gram you can go to a jail for like five years like seven years you know it's completely illegal here but you can buy weed here only by the dark net you know, oh, wow. but, when, but if somebody gets caught, there's zero tolerance that you will go to jail. Yeah, yeah, you know, like really? for a small amount, like smallest amount, you can go to a jail. Oh, wow. wow, that's crazy. Here, they wouldn't do anything. They wouldn't Here, do. If, if a policeman brought you in to the police station and they said, Oh, he had this much marijuana, he would get in trouble. Yeah. His wow. chief of police would be like, what are you doing? We're going to fill up all this paperwork. For, for he, would, he would be in more trouble than the guy with the, with the marijuana. You know, here, if uh, police wants to, like, uh, cut you, uh, keep you, like, take you, uh, they can, like, uh, pretend you had a small amount of marijuana and okay. you can go to the jail, like, for five years, like, seven years to the jail. You know, in Russian prison, is a fucking nightmare. I watched... I don't know if you have Netflix. You've heard of Netflix? Uh, I know it, you know. I think now it's closed in Russia. Okay. Well, I watched the shows on the Russian prison, the Black Dolphin. Oh. Prison, and all the, and man, Ukraine, hard. neither. Ukraine and and Russia. You don't want to go to those prisons. No. No. I, yeah, Russian prison is it's a nightmare, you know. And uh, it's, it's pretty scary uh, because of the weed here. So uh, I have friends who like it. I, I like it too, but it's, it's you know, it's like a scary game, you know, to have weed. Oh, yeah. And I risk, you know. I wouldn't want Yeah, I know. A big chance. <clears throat> Taking a big chance. You want to show them the belts? Oh, yeah. He's got a couple of belts, some classic original belts. These are the real belts. Tell me if you um, recognize this one. Oh, wow. How do I bail? The IWA, the IWA world title. This is uh, the that's second. the original one. Or really? One of, yeah, that's yeah. he got that. That's original. Got wow. That, that was used in matches. Look, it's falling apart. <laughs> yep. Yeah, tremendous. You're showing this. You and, show this, this. and this was this one. You're gonna one. like this one. You'd probably like to win this one. <laughs>
Utah Wallet Underground title. Absolutely, yeah. yep. Wow. The one, the one, uh, you know, first match CZW just shared at JC Bailey and Necro Butcher. This is it. That's, wow. the, that's the real belt. He collects things. Yeah, I collect, you know, deathmatch stuff. I'm real big in That's it. cool, man. That's really cool, you know, tremendous yeah. stuff. Too bad you didn't have the Necro picture. Oh, I can bring it for him. He yeah. got an artist. There's a, oh, Chon, who Chon, Chondo did that? Chondo did that. You know Chondo, right? Yeah, yeah. Chondo can do good artwork too. You know that? I saw his work, you know. Yeah, he's really good. Look at this one. Chondo did this. Wow. Epic. Yeah, it's awesome. Like you it. make a, can you make it? Too bad you couldn't make a print. I think he makes them. Huh? I think he has them. Oh, yeah. Maybe we get your print. <clears throat> put, it in your, put it in your house there. Do you collect things? Do you collect? Do you have any American uh, shirts or mem- anything American? You know, uh, I have one shirt. Uh, one of the guys sent me it from the USA, Chad Epic, his name. Chad Epic. Chad Epic. We got to send uh, him something. Yeah. yeah. He sent yeah. me his merch. Uh, that's the only American thing I have. If you order something, will it get to you in Russia or will it go crazy? We won't get, we won't get it. You know, nowadays I can't even like uh, get my money from the PayPal because oh, it's wow. forbidden in Russia. And I can get my money uh, from the merch I sold worldwide. Oh, it's, man, wow. really? Yeah. But you'll get it really now. Sad. You might get it later, right? It's sitting there. I'm right? not sure, you know. I'm not sure. It's You know, I can't even use uh, Facebook and Instagram normally. I use, like, VPN to post it, to comment, you know, because uh, Instagram and Facebook is forbidden in Russia. It's like a, some kind of a terrorist platform yeah. or something. You know, it's bullshit. Well, hopefully this thing, it'll all end. It's got to end, and we be, we like Russian people. We, there's no – if you came to – there's a lot of Russian people here anyway. But if you came to America, there'd be no problem. People would like you, everybody. You know <laughs> – uh, Americans fight themselves more than anybody. Than we, anyone else. We're, <clears throat> people will fight each other in America. They don't even care what country they're from. They're, they're like they, – over anything. Yeah. yeah. So if the fans wanted to send you something, is it possible for us to send you something? Yeah, I think so, because I, I get the shirt, I think I can get it. But it's like we have a slow um, post system, but I'll get it. No, we, 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 could, we could set something up. Well, he, yeah. Yeah. well, he's got Facebook. He's got a Facebook thing. Okay. Reach out to the people. We, Alex, people know you. You don't understand it because you're not in America, right? Yeah, yeah. But if we go to anybody we know, they know you. Yeah. I, I, I test them out. I'm like, you know, Alex... And they're like, yeah, yeah. They all watch the videos. Oh, and yeah. then Deathmatch Elite. So you're widespread. People know. You know I don't, I, I, I'm not even can't understand it. I can't believe it, you know, because it's, it's, it's something impossible. My friend who goes to CZW and everything, when I told him I'm interviewing you, we're going to interview, he goes, he thought I was joking. Yeah, he goes, yeah, right. And they started talking about something else. And I'm like, no, seriously. I, he said, really? And I'm like, yeah. Because we've done Drake Younger and a couple other people. Watch the Drake Younger interview we did. Have you seen that? Yeah, I, I would love to watch it. Uh, you know, I just uh, didn't have the time, you know. Because no, I know. my fucking day job, factory day job, I hate it. <laughs> All right, well, hang in there. Are you gonna go to? Are you gonna go to sleep and go to work? Uh, like, uh, I will sleep a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I hope I, I will get fired because I hate factory. You know. Can you do something else? What else can you do? Oh, just pro wrestling, you know. I don't have, I don't have an education even. Okay, I, uh, I saw in one of the pictures you had a shirt that said, "Plus," you had a suit on that said "Plus Lounge." You had a button. It looked I'm like you. I'm not put, sure. Plus it, Lounge. You had a, you had a black suit and a button that said, hey. "A Plus Lounge," whatever that was. Can you hear me? Friday night, November fourth. XBW presents the Day of the Dead, live from the Super Crazy Entertainment Center in Westville, New Jersey. We have Daniel Alexander taking on Tarzan Duran in an aerial assault match. Jimmy Chondo Lion will be defending the CWF PWA title against a mystery opponent. We have the Hellaware Assassin making his East Coast return, taking on Alex Stretch in a New Jack Tribute Fans Bring the Weapons match. The first time ever 
we have the legendary Matt Tremont taking on Christian Ross in an underground fuckery match. For the first time ever, rising deathmatch superstar Chris Bradley is going to take on the living legend, the Necro Butcher. Secure your invite to the party now, as a great Kevin Hogan used to say, be there. I, I really, ho- I really hope you come somehow. After all the mess, yeah, it would be nice if you could come. I really hope. I really hope. I, I would we- love to like move to USA, you know, like forever. Because I would love to be uh, better in pro wrestling. I would love to make it like uh, make a living by pro wrestling. You know, it's my dream. It's the only thing I love. You know, I know uh, everything about it. You know, I do. Uh, I'm do hard, tra- hard trainings here in NSW. I'm do everything I can. Oh, no, you've done all you can. I know, but you got to come. Yeah. What about X W X W from Germany? You heard of that one? Of course. Have any of those? Have any Russian wrestlers been over there? Yeah, a few people I know uh, did the seminars. Uh, was at the seminars, you know, trainings at W X W. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where Thumbtack Jack came from. There, right? Thumbtack did he come from there? Yeah. There's so, two W's there. Yeah. We I remember sponsored. the times when WXW was like uh, into death matches, you know. Gorefest. Gorefest. Yeah, Gorefest versus Tia D. I have that trophy. You got you that. You have a trophy? The, yeah, the Gorefest, the one that Gage won. Wow. Can you get it real quick? Is it, is it's it like locked in. Yeah, it's yeah. locked in. Yeah, I'll send he, the he collects things. He collects everything. I, I don't... Cool. I, Throw things away. But yeah, I'm bad. I keep like <laughs> shirts. I buy the shirts to support the guys. You know, if it's a cool shirt, I'll try to get your shirt. But yeah, I hope you can sell more merchandise worldwide. That that would be and somehow get this PayPal thing. I don't know how that works, but you yeah. know, even if I can't get money from my merchandise, uh, I love when I see people in uh, wearing my shirts. You know, so it's not about the money anyway. It's like it's cool to see people wearing my yeah. shirts. You know, it's it's, it's I cool. See. No, you you are a true uh, wrestler who does it for the love. And we did an interview with Drake. Watch the interview with Drake Younger. You'll like that. It's in his heart, and he, and it's just he can't give it up. You know, they they love the rap. They really love the wrestle. I'm a fan. I never got into it, but I mean, I've helped out guys ride here and there, things like that. But I understand the mentality, the wanting to be on the show. And I don't know if you've seen it, but right before we did started this interview, uh, XPW announced that it Slack was Drake. versus Drake yep. Younger. Yeah, Slack versus Drake Younger. That's legendary amazing. stuff. That is good. Can't wait to see. It's going to be a good one for sure. That's going to be. That's about three, two and a half hours from where we live. So you're going to be on the show, yeah? Probably not. Are we going to go? No, no, I don't no prob- I don't probably know. not because it's too far for us, and it's in North. North Jersey. See, see, Alex, there's so much wrestling here. If you came, you'd want to go. But we're like, well, we can go. H2O runs every week in, in New Jersey. That's an hour away. The best place for you to live would be Philadelphia or New Jersey. Everything is there. Everything is in that area. It's not like Russia where you're 20 hours away. You yeah, can go yeah, I know. Wrestling. New York. I understand what you mean. Yeah. We have, you know, like Russia is a big country and we have like only uh, two big promotions and like uh, a few smalls, you know, it's like four uh, in a whole country. So, yeah, but we have fans who travel like 22 hours every month, you know, wow. to see the show. God. We have like uh, really some fans who like uh, buy merchandise, you know, and travel everywhere. We even have fans who travel more than wrestlers just to see the show. Some well, dedicated hardcore fans for yeah, sure. Yeah, we used to go to we would all get and go to Louisville for Ian Rotten uh, Mid South, and we'd fly to uh, to uh, get a good flight down to Alabama for Deep South. I think now, do you have you? How are planes over there? Are they? Is it expensive to fly around? You know, I never uh, was at the plane. Never, <laughs> because uh, never, never, because it's like too expensive, and uh, I always uh, use the train. Is the train cheaper? A lot cheaper. Of course, yeah. How are the trains? Are they are they nice? Or are they kind of hard? To, is it? 
I used the cheapest train I could get oh, because <laughs> 22 hours just sitting, you know. Oh man. I, I was like sleeping while I'm sitting, you know, like 22 hours sit at my ass. Everybody I know, uh, every wrestler I know said it's impossible, you know, and I I'm just the only one who did it. Well, we respect that. No, I respect really it. expect that. And, and thank you. Like I feel, I mean, for people that do that, you come here, man. We get everybody buying you food. You're oh, not gonna yeah, have to spend yeah, no money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everyone. Nah, we we it, gotta yeah. we gotta do something in appreciation. Um, this is gonna be in a biography one day when you come here. You know. Yeah, 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 big, yeah. Absolutely. You know, when I was a kid, I couldn't imagine I would talk with Toby Klein and with you guys uh, right now. You know, and I hope uh, that someday I will be in the USA and I will like shocked just uh, like right now yeah yeah you would even if you just walked in the dress room yeah I, I really hope that would happen i really like to see that yeah yeah maybe, maybe we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens try to get that we'll try to get maybe they in. can do a gofundme and everybody pitch in all the fans i mean if you get like two thousand fans to give a dollar yeah you know what i mean yeah, 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 or yeah. something you can buy a plane ticket and that with the shirts, you know, maybe we could get more, you know, more merchandise out to the. Fans. You know, I think uh, the uh, the issue like is not the money. It's like uh, because borders are closed. The borders know, are closed. Yeah, 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 Bullshit yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, right now in Russia, we have like immobilization, so it's like people uh, get from the street to the army. You know, everybody, and uh, sometimes it's a choice: or you go to the army and then to the war or you go to the jail so it's like right now it's a dark times in my country you know it's it's really sad all right well hopefully it it, it it'll be it'll it'll end soon and we'll get you over somehow we'll do whatever we got to do to get it it'd be good to have you even here if you didn't wrestle just to go around and just go so you know but you get into something toby got you already booked right <laughs> uh, you'd be cool to just show him in the area see i feel for, i feel for alex because Here's Toby Klein. Say, come on to my show. Show up at the building and you're on the show. That's his dream. Yeah. And he can't live it. And I feel bad. I don't even like bringing that up to you because it's probably making him feel bad mm -hmm. talking about it. But but he's so close. You know, yeah. it's not yeah. you're not somebody just showing up out of nowhere. We, we don't know you. Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're, you're an established yeah. name. Yeah, you're an established name. It's terrible. It's you know, but one day, one day you'll be here. One day you're going to, you know, you're going to go. I hope, guys. I hope I will do my best. You know, I, I I will keep killing it here in Russia. You know, I will do everything I can. And I hope someday we can, like, talk in person, you know, in you real will. life. Yeah, I'm definitely Absolutely. Going to. Man. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, we appreciate it. We respect mm -hmm. you. Uh, mm -hmm. The fans respect you. You know, we can't wait to have you here. You know, we can't wait to see that match. You and Necro. You and Necro, one-on-one. -on -one. That's going to be insane. Uh, yeah, no, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. But, My but, biggest dream, you know, me and Necro, I would love to yeah. kick the shit out of each other, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Is the time done? One minute. One oh, minute. One, one minute. We got and, one minute. So so um, before we log off, what's the best way for the fans to contact you? Uh, Facebook page, Instagram page, just subscribe and follow me, you know. I am post my matches, you know. I have a lot of free matches on YouTube. Just uh, search Alex Nabiev death matches, Alexander Nabiev match. And thank you, guys. No, thank you. And like I said, we respect you. We love you. We can't wait to have you in the country. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I know We know you love it. We love wrestling. You love wrestling. He does. He loves um, it. <laughs> it's too much. We can't wait to have you here. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Big thank you. All right. Thank you, buddy. Be careful. Get some, get some rest. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.